friends, welcome back and thanks for popping in and hidey ho for Mr. Milo. He's going to hang out in the background and take a little cat nap. So today is part two of my marathon unboxing. If you missed part one, I will link it below. That is where I have already opened five boxes and today we're going to be opening five more. I have two boxes that haven't been on the channel in quite a while. So I'm excited to open them and rediscover them with you guys. I have two boxes that kind of rotate in and out of the channel every month and then one fan favorite quarterly subscription box. I'm so excited for today's unboxing. So we're just going to go ahead and dive in. As always, if you like what you see, consider hitting that subscription button and giving this video a thumbs up. And with all that said, let's unbox. The first box we're going to talk about is the Huga box. This is a monthly self-care subscription box. And if you're unfamiliar with the word Huga, it is a Danish lifestyle of coziness, happiness, and really embracing simple things. Now, if you like elements of light, really soft, cozy textiles, neutral color palettes and clean lines, you're really going to enjoy this box. So every month you have two choices to get this box. There is a standard box for $52. You're going to get four to six items in that one. Or the deluxe box is only $4 more and you get five to seven items in that one. Now I do have a discount code for 5% off. So if after watching this video, you want to check out this box and order it for yourself, you can just go to the description box or if you can't find it, go all the way up to the very first comment under this video and I will have all of the information linked below. So this is what the box looks like. I also think that you get a snack in here, which I'm super excited for. All right, so when we open it up, it looks like this, and it talks a little bit more about Huga and the Danish lifestyle. Oh my gosh, something smells really lovely in here. How pretty is this little card? Inside, we're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the deluxe box. There's just some really pretty neutral tissue paper. It almost has a hint of a lavender to it. And then I'm going to take all of these shreds. I'm also excited when you pull away all of the shredded paper, you see this and I see a chocolate bar right on the top. Look how pretty this is. It says it's a raspberry dark chocolate bar. This is like a cloth and you've got all the raspberries on it. And then the cutest little ladybug. How beautiful is this chocolate bar? It says no dairy, no refined sugar, no soy, no gluten, no lectin, or no shortcuts. Let's read about this. It says prepare to immerse yourself in the heavenly harmony of raspberry dark chocolate, where the deep allure of dark chocolate is artfully united with the essence of raspberries, both rich in antioxidants. Wow. Okay, so that's our first item. They're batting a thousand right here already. The next thing we got is a drink. I love when subscription boxes give us drinks. It just feels so special. Now, this is a natural rose lemonade. Oh, going on a little road trip here very soon. That's going to go right in the front seat of my car. Doesn't that sound refreshing? Look how pretty the color is rose lemonade it says embrace the soothing charm of rose lemonade where the delicate essence of english rose petals intertwines gracefully with the uh, uh with the zest of lemon juice all fizzing to life with the effervescence of sparkling water that sounds lovely oh that's so pretty so girly and fun Okay, the next item in here is this guy. Oh, Fleur and B. I love Fleur and B. This is their Eyes Eyes Baby Eye Cream. I've had this before and it's lovely. It's it's creamy and kind of cloudy goodness. I'll show you what it looks like. So this little jar looks like this. And it's just like a pillowy cream. Nice and balmy. It's not runny. It's nice and thick, but it just feels luscious. And when you put this on your eyes, it's a little bit cooling. A little dab will do you. Mm, this is dreamy. I haven't had this in a while. It doesn't have any scent to it. Florin B is a really nice natural skincare company. 
Let's see what it says about that. It says, Eyes Eyes Baby is the item that you're going to get in the deluxe box, a cherished addition to your Huga Beauty routine. This little wonder works its magic on puffiness, fine lines, and those stubborn dark circles. Oh, that's lovely. I'm excited really excited for this. All right, the next thing we have, oh, something else from Fleur and B. Oh, this is a good box. This is their One Lip Wonder Treatment. So this is what it looks like. I've shown Fleur and B on my channel for years and years. I don't think I've shown it lately though. And we don't get it in a lot of subscription boxes. So this is really a treat. This is like a balmy, kind of a Laneige sleeping mask type. Isn't that pretty? Doesn't have a scent either, but it's just such a pretty jar to leave on your nightstand or your vanity if you wanna put it on before you go to bed. And it says that that guy is indulge your lips in the ultimate pampering with one lip wonder. This nourishing vegan lip treatment goes to work on dry chap lips, providing instant hydration and a protective embrace. <laughs> that sounds good. I like the way that they write. Okay. So we've got that, wow, I'm loving this box. All right, the next thing we have is called Whispers. And this is a candle. This is very floral. It smells like spring, a spring bouquet. Like your husband brings you a bouquet of flowers at work and surprises you. It's like happy. You can you know what it looks like, but I'm going to show you anyway. <laughs> okay, so it says indulge in the exquisite allure of whispers, meticulously crafted to enhance even the most discerning floral enthusiasts. As you light the soy candle, you'll be greeted with lush green leaves and a symphony of green floral top notes, perfectly complemented by a touch of bergamot that dances in the air. The true essence of this candle lies in the heart, a captivating blend of lily of the valley and lilac that comes to life in the flame flickers. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's something else. Oh, ooh, there's something in the bottom. This is something called Everyday Mantras, 365 Affirmations for Happiness, Strength, and Peace. Nice little hardback book here. Oh, it's dated. So it's dated. So it's 300. Well, they say 365 days, but there's one for every day. How pretty is this? This is like February. I don't even know what day we're on. I'm kind of lost. So we're just going to say February the 25th. So it says, in autumn, hardy blooms are set out in the soft soil to wait patiently through the freeze. They endure the cold, the snowfall, and the heaving ground in order to be the first ones in line to greet the sun for spring. The moment the world is warm enough, they erupt in bloom, flying colorful flags of enthusiasm. Their patience is rewarded by our appreciation and excitement. The first flowers of spring are joy incarnate, a splash of color in the cold ground, not yet thawed. This kind of makes me excited for spring and to just really, I always tell my kids when they were in the car when they were little, especially in spring, look up, look how pretty everything is. This is the greenest green you're going to see. And we're having already our trees starting to bloom here and they're just gorgeous but I think that's a reminder to look up at the bulbs that are sprouting the tulips and things and look at the trees that are blooming and enjoy them gosh this was such a good box I really like this book it's very short little passages so just a minute or two for self-introspection and to kind of look at and appreciate the world around you you can easily just put this into your morning routine that Fleur and B skincare guys is so good. It's a nice, clean skincare line. I've used it on and off for years. I'd kind of forgotten about it, and now it makes me want to go and order some more of it because it's just so lovely. You're going to love the uh, One Lip Wonder as well as the eye cream. It's fabulous. That candle was beautiful. And can we just 
say how special that rose lemonade is and that lovely pink color and that raspberry chocolate bar. I think this is such a well-rounded self-care subscription box. So if you want to check it out, you can use my code for 5% off. Thank you to Hugo Box for sending this over. And if you want to see more Hugo Box on the channel, let me know in the comments below. All right, now we're going to take a look at what is a fan favorite on the channel, and that is my desk stash box. This is a quarterly office supply subscription box, but by office supplies, I don't mean plain yellow post-it notes and boring aluminum paper clips. We get office supplies from all over the world and things even that you can buy in the Museum of Modern Art. So whether you have a cubicle, a home office, or you've got a she-she office overlooking a park, you are going to love this box because nobody is going to have these supplies and it's unisex. So whether you're a guy or a girl, I think you're really going to like the products inside. Typically we get about six items. It's $45 a quarter and I do have a discount code for 15% off. I'm going to grab my glasses and put them back on. I'm so excited to see what's in here. Another reason that I think we all like this box is it's sense of humor. They take characters from their office and they just make them so funny and interesting. So this is what it looks like. It's got the little typewriter and then lots of little office icons around it. When you open it up, it looks like this. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five. Right, it's seven items in here. Wow, okay, it says eight days a week edition. Are you singing that song? Um, it says it has a retail value of $75. Ooh, they got the way to my heart right here in these retro pens. These are by Kikerland. So is this maybe a Danish brand, I'm wondering? Look how cool these are. All right, hold on. These do look like retro pens, like that your dad would have, or the, or the NASA maybe engineers would have these in their pocket protectors. <laughs> Can you picture it? Look how pretty the colors are. They weren't this pretty like in the 70s when these were popular. And there's those basic like clicker pens. Oh my gosh, I love them. I love them so much. Look at this aqua and um, black one. So we have a set of five. All right, let's see what it says about those. So it says these 1960s inspired retro pens will swankify, that's a real word, any desk. Joyce from Billing puts one of these behind her ear and barks out orders at Ernie from reception. These pens do not make you my superior, he huffs. These pens are giving you a Napoleon complex, he says, as he swipes a handful. I gotta say, if these were in the supply closet of my job, I would consider maybe grabbing a couple. <laughs> I'm kidding, but they are really, really cute. All right, the next thing in here, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Look at this guy. It says Control-Alt-Clean, a three-in-one electronics cleaning set. It has a keyboard brush, a detailed nib, and a microfiber screen cloth. Perfect size for desktop or drawer. Bamboo certified recycled plastic micro microfiber plastic-free packaging. So this is a brush. And this is like a, it almost feels like a silicone tip. And then on the back of it, it's like a cloth. Oh, this is cool. Hold on. Okay, it says Old Control Clean. This three-in-one electronics cleaning set has a soft brush to sweep away keyboard schmutz. <laughs> a crevice tool for tricky edges. A microfiber cloth as a handy screen cleaner. Oh, that's a great idea. Ernie at Reception's workplace is ridden with mystery debris, donut crumbs mostly, but this item whisks it all away by 5 p.m. How neat is this? You know how you get like a crumb or like the K in my laptop right now won't go down all the way? I'm sure there's like some crumb shoved under there. How perfect. And then this guy you just rub over your screen. If your screen's dusty, that is brilliant. I think we can all use one of those. Okay, the next thing we have in here, what is this? Ooh, okay, remember I told you we're not just gonna get basic paper clips? It says these are made by Designs by Desto. Okay, it says, oh, they're in the shape of a thermos. We'll pull them out and look at them in a minute. It says these retro style paper clips have achieved the juxtaposition of thermos and paper clip just right. We have a limited supply on hand, meaning no freebies for Ernie from reception. He was feeling the meter when they arrived and he missed the boat, darn it. But Joyce got some Ernie wine. <laughs> 
too slow, Ernie, too slow. All right, let's look at these. There's red ones and black ones, and they do look like little thermoses. Can you see? How fun. See, they find the neatest things in this box. Adorable. Okay, all really useful things, too. All right, the, the next thing we have is toasty notes. Remember, no basic yellow post-it notes. I warned you. Okay, it says, um, though the average professional receives 11 messages on sticky notes each day, Joyce from Billings daily uses surpasses that. Joyce keeps a stack of these toasty notes on a plate at her desk, hoping someone will try to take a bite. She's offered toast to everybody and no one has fallen for it yet. And now when I was reading this, I was like, do people really receive 11 messages on post-it notes but I gotta tell you I have at work a post a basic yellow post-it notepad in my back pocket for taking notes as I'm helping with customers and running back and forth to the register and doing customer service I write on that yellow post-it note probably 11 times a day at least although I don't think this is going to fit in my back pocket I am going to take this to work and I think the management team is going to like it there's a hundred and 50 sheets in here and the reason why I think they're going to think it's funny is I'm the like one who brings all the snacks like I keep the the jar of um, chocolates filled I just brought in some like we're all trying to lose weight so I just brought in these like healthy yummy granola bars for Valentine's Day I made like chocolate dipped strawberries so this goes with my theme it's very on brand for me to bring in some toasty notes okay the next thing we have in here is called the finger print. This is a bookmark and look, <laughs> it's got a place where you left off. The bookmark that lends a helping hand. So it goes over your book and it saves it as a bookmark. Let's read about this. Fingerprint bookmark. Joyce from Billing has decided to read all of the classics starting with War and Peace, but she can't get past chapter one, me neither, without falling asleep on her keyboard. This bookmark is flexible enough to stretch around all 1,352 pages of Joyce's dog-eared copy pointing to where she left off. So it points like if you're in the middle of a paragraph, you can move this around your book like it's movable because it's it goes all the way around. So you can move it to... Um, point to the paragraph where you left off. I'm a reedy girl, so this is gonna be good for me. Okay, but wait, there's two more. The next thing we have in here is called the Resketch. It's a reclaim, reuse, rethink, resketch desk pad. And it's got little grid paper on it. Okay, let's read about this guy. Okay, where are you? The Resketch Desk Pad. The manufacturer of this nifty desk pad curates and sorts high quality, 100% recycled paper and turns it into high end notepads. Ernie at reception keeps one near at hand and it's where he collects his copious notes for his novel about drama in the workplace. Take it up with corporate. He's planning to self publish. I like this. Oh, it's colored on the back too. So it's blank pages on the back. So even if you don't need like a notepad like this and you're like a crafter, you could still use it for that. That's so pretty. Or if you need, you know, your stack or file folder to stand out for your boss, you could put this with a little note on the front of it and the pink or the yellow or the blue is gonna stick out amongst the rest of your coworkers. I love they found a company that really reuses it and rethinks pads. How neat. Okay, I think we're down to our last item. It's most certainly the heaviest item in here. It says it's an inkwell pot, like a feather inkwell, like they used to write out in the 1800s. It really does look like that. Okay, it's called the ink pen pot, and it says ink right here. I don't know if you can see it, I N K. It says um, fresh quality ink. And then I guess you could put all your pens and pencils in here or anything you need on your desk. Okay, so let's read about that. How clever is this? So it says the ink well pot. Joyce from Billing used to fill hers with candies and fancy pens. Now it's for keeping change for the vending machine. Last week, Ernie at reception had to park at a meter on the street. Later, Joyce accused him of stealing her quarters. 
they had quite a fight. So that's actually a really good idea to put like change in it. You could even use this if you didn't want to put it at your desk, like at your husband's nightstand. Um, and he could put his change in. I like the idea of candies in here. Anything that you need to collect at work. How fun! It kind of looks retro. Do you see why I like this box? It's well worth $45. I think it's so funny. I love hearing about Joyce and um, Ernie at reception and their fights that they have. They're so interesting. I want to work for Desk Stash one day just so I can be in the presence of Ernie and Joyce. <laughs> Anyway, if you want to check out the desk stash box, you can use my code for 15% off. Again, I will put that down below. And again, thank you to desk stash for sending that one over. Right, I'm so excited to bring this next box back on the channel. It's been a little while. I used to religiously open this box month after month for probably like two and a half years. I truly love it. But every once in a while, I have to rotate boxes off the channel in order to rotate new boxes on. It's time for this one to rotate back on the channel. And it is Simply Earth. Now, this is a monthly essential oil slash recipe subscription box. And I love this one because you can kind of tap into your crafty side too. So every month you're going to get four pure essential oils and that's important. They really go through a stringent process to make sure that their essential oils are really pure. Sometimes you get them at discount stores and they're not worth what you pay for them. So you're getting the real deal here. You get some recipe cards as well as all the supplies you need to make the items that they're going to have in the box that month. So this box is really meant to help clean up your life in terms of like toxins and things. So cleaning supplies and really fun self-care and candles. And we've made all kinds of interesting things with this box. They also include a video. So if you're reading the instructions and you're like, I need a little more help, you can go over and watch a video and they take you through how to make the recipes, which is really, really nice. Now, if you subscribe to this box, it is $45.99 a month. That gives you your recipe box. But if you use my code, you're going to pay $44.95. You're going to get your first month of the recipe box and you're going to get this big bonus box. And we'll take a look at this inside in just a minute. So this big bonus box is going to have a bunch of supplies you'll need for future boxes. So it's things that maybe you can recycle or you can just store under your bed and pull out when you're going to, um, to craft or to make your recipes, which I think is great. Also, if you use my code, in addition to the big box, they're going to give you a $45 gift card. This isn't a discount card. This is a go to the website, pick out $45 worth of product and check out. It's just like cash. Um, they have cool things in there, like these gorgeous wooden boxes. You can store your essential oils and things like that there. And then you get access to their essential oil heroes course. It's $480 and people actually pay to take this course, but you get access to it for free. So anyway, let's go ahead and open this and check it out and see what's inside. So like I said, this is the bonus box. And when you get the bonus box, your essential oil box is right on top. So here, here I'll show you. This is what it looks like. And this is what a normal month box would look like. So your first box by using my code is going to have all of this inside. So we'll take a look at this guy. Gosh, it smells really good. Okay, the theme is soap. So we're going to be doing some soap making in here. It gives us recipes. Lovely night roll on a sweet lemon oatmeal soap, a unicorn foaming hand soap, a helping hands foaming soap, heart balloons diffuser blend and healing hands solid lotion bar. So those are all the things we're going to make. I'm interested in that unicorn foaming hand soap. How cool is that? Okay, so inside this box, you can see we have our four essential oils here. So let's see what they are. It says that this one is, these are certified pure, it says. It's called unicorn. <laughs> okay, lemongrass, energy, and amorous. Okay, we have some glycerin melt and a pour soap. Oh, I guess this makes a mold. And there actually is glycerin in the mold. Okay, we have this little cup, I guess, to help us mix. Um, what is this? This is foaming hand soap tablet. Okay, from zero to hero. It talks about the February box. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, I forgot they did this too. Okay, hold on. You get your recipe cards. These are the recipe cards for all of the crafty products that we can make, the unicorn foamy hand soap. And then you get all of these little stickers because when you're making your own products, you might want to put a little sticker like if you want to gift it and the date when you made it. It's so, so fun. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do in the crafts, the recipes. I keep calling them crafts, but they're really recipes that we're gonna make. Now, in the big box, we have some beeswax. So we will probably use that in a future box. We have a big um, coconut oil, which is a carrier oil. So a lot of times when you're using essential oils, you don't wanna put them directly on your skin. Some of them you can, and some of them you need a carrier oil to be able to do that. So we have a big thing of soap. Um, we have some fractionated coconut oil. This is another carrier oil. This is more liquid and this is more balmy. So two different ways to be able to use that. Ooh, what else did we get? Oh, an almond oil. I forgot we get this too. This stuff smells so lovely. And then we have all these little bottles. Okay, I'm going to show you. There's two different sizes here. So this is where you'll use the stickers. If you wanna make your own blend of essential oils, you can stick your stickers on the bottles here. Let me see if I can pop them out. So this one is just a regular bottle. And then this one is, I believe a roller bottle, bottle which is my favorite. And it looked like one of the recipes we we're gonna make for March is a roller ball. And it's got that metal roller. So when you put it on, oh my gosh, it feels, so good on your skin. You can put it on your pulse points or whatever. So you've got all that. So that's going to be used for your future boxes. This sounds so fun. Unicorn foaming hand soap. And then it also tells you like the unicorn foaming hand soap takes two minutes, two minutes to make. So you can mix it up really quickly. So they give you the time, the shelf life of each of the items, which is nice. Helping Hands Foaming Soap, Sweet Lemon Oatmeal Soap. That sounds good. Lovely Night Roll-On. And then the directions are really easy. It tells you the ingredients, the time it's going to take, and then the directions on how to make it. How cool is that? Now, if you have pets, I always say talk to your vet about essential oils. I've definitely done my due diligence. We have a new vet and I talked to my old vet and our new vet. And so I know what I can and can't use around my pets and how to use them safely. So just kind of keep that in mind. But if you want to check out the Simply Earth box, again, you'll pay $44.99 for your first box. They're going to send you that big bonus box plus that $45 gift card and I'm so excited to have them back. I cannot wait to dive in. I'm making that unicorn hand soap like lickety split right away. That just sounds so fun. I'm a I'm a goober, okay? I will admit right, the it. next box we're gonna talk about is the kids creative box from journal junk box. This is a subscription box to teach kids how to journal and to tap into sort of their creative side. Dallas is the owner of this box. She has two girls which I think kind of help her to curate this box which is good. It is $37.99 a month, and I do have a discount code for 15% off. I don't show a lot of kids' boxes on this channel, but this one, this one is so good. I wish they had this when my kids were little because we definitely would have been subscribers to this one. So it really, like I said, is, is meant to help your kids write and to not be afraid of writing. It helps them with like their stickers in here and fun pens and markers and notebooks and all kinds of cool things. I always said this would be good to keep in a restaurant bag or a car bag if you're going on a road trip to keep them busy. So when you open it up, it looks like this. And the theme was hearts and hugs. All right. Some boxes I feel skew more unisex and some of them skew a little bit more girly. So we'll see what this one looks like. These are finger puppet cards. You get 28 cards and 28 envelopes. Now this box would have come right at the beginning of February, like the first day or two. Journal Junk Box is really good about getting your box to you immediately. Um, I'm just opening this one now, but how cute. I'm gonna actually probably save these. And then I work with a lady who is a teacher. She just works part-time. I think I'm gonna give these to her to pass on to maybe one of the kindergarten teachers or first grade teachers so they can keep them in case one of the kiddos don't have Valentine's, don't have the money or their parents forget about Valentine's. So I will be donating those. Um, we have four 
feet of stickers to go. It's a big roll of stickers. And y'all, I have to tell you, First Glance's Second Chances next month is going to be so fun. I found all these new subscription boxes that I think are going to take me back to my childhood. But they're so fun. So definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. So we got a big old roll of stickers. It keeps going. Um, they always put a little bookmark in here and it helps kids identify their feelings so if they're writing they can understand how they're feeling then it's okay to feel that way um this is a card that kind of talks to the parents and tells them how they can help their kids and they have got some journaling tips in here and what i love is she gives you four ideas to get your kids to start right so who do you care about and why if you had magic to spread love what would you do what a good idea for a kid to ask that would be a really good kid i would be interested to see what my kids would have said at that age um another one is what three things make you feel loved and then design a valentine card who is it for and what does it say okay and then we have this <laughs> is this not a hysterical little furry pen so that they can journal with what is this oh my gosh a whole lot of love this is a super bright marker set but it's one of those sets where you take the top off and put it on the bottom and it changes color like each heart is a different marker do you remember having like a crayon or a colored pencil like this i've never seen a marker one so like you can take off oh it's wrapped darn so you take off the red and put it at the a top and then you can write in purple or you take off the purple and put it in the top and it'll write blue and this is all different markers is that not hysterical do you see why i think this is so fun you can see the notch where each of the hearts will go as you're moving them up i i just think this is a such a great idea for kids all right the next thing we have is by limited to these are 3d puffy paints oh my gosh when my daughter was little, it was all about the puffy paint. She wanted all the puffy paints. I would get them for her and she would like unpuff. She would puff all of the paints in one, in one sitting. It never lasted very long, but she had a lot of fun with them. Okay, the next thing we have is all you need is love. Look how cute this is. And this is their little journal. They always get kind of a journal or a notebook. I think kids, boys or girls, just like this kind of stuff. It has a zipper pouch right here so they can put their pens and there's actually a little pencil inside of it. Isn't that cute? I like that it's attached. And then it's just got plain lined paper. So sometimes it'll be like a plain piece of paper that they can write, they could draw and then write the story for. So it's different a little bit each time and how she is getting them to learn to write and be comfortable with writing. And then last but not least, this says Hello Dreamer Stamp Stick. Oh my gosh, it's the same as the marker. Like each little square is a different stamp and they stamp into themselves or they click into themselves. How adorable. I think that box is so well done. I think it gives girls exactly what they love, all their stickers and markers. I mean, I'm 52 and I still love all that stuff while teaching them a skill to write, which is something that they're gonna use their whole life. So if you're looking for a gift for like a six to 11 or 12 year old girl, I think you would knock it out of the park with this one. And you can use my discount code for 15% off. Now you guys, we're down to the last box and that is my bath bevy box. Now I opened the tubless box in part one, but this is their actual bath box. Inside you're gonna get six items to use in your bath. So bubble bars, Epsom salt soaks, bath bombs, candles, all kinds of really interesting things. Now the tubless box and the bath box are going to have the same theme and sometimes the same scents, but a little different products. And then we open it up. Love is in the air is the theme. And then inside, oh my gosh, this smells so good. We have a strawberry champagne bath bomb. Y'all, I'm almost out of bath bombs. I cannot even believe it. I am almost out, so I'm so happy for this. Look how pretty that one is. Gorgeous. We have a Paramore bath bomb. This has pink grapefruit sugared strawberries and soft musk i'm using this um body wash right now that is a grapefruit body wash from the body shop it's my favorite 
Ooh, that's lovely. It's not quite grapefruity. It's more that soft musk, but how pretty is the pink? All right. The next thing we got is the Love and Kisses Wit Soap Scrub, which is my absolute favorite product of Bath Bevy. You just scoop it out, rub it all over your body. It's got the perfect amount of grit to exfoliate. Nice. The next thing we got is the Love Note Fizzy Bath Dust. Now, we had some Love Note scents in the shower box. This smells so good. It's like mandarin oranges and some other yummy berry fruits. This is probably my favorite scent that they've done in a long, long time, and I love their scent, so that's saying a lot. This is good. You just sprinkle it in the bath, and it's like a soak. Then we got an Epsom salt soak. Oh, in the same scent. Love spell. I am so happy that this box is loaded with that scent. It smells so good. And then the last thing we got is a whipped soap in velvet cupcake. So this is just like the scrub, except it's not scrub. It's a soap. So this is great to shave your legs with, or you can just rub it all over your body. It's just a different form of soap. Like you have shower gel, you have bar soap. This is like a little bit of more of a putty, but it's really, really fun too. So again, if you want to check out the Bath Bevy box, you can use my discount code for 20% off. Y'all, we made it through 10 boxes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for sticking with me and I'll see you soon for another one. Bye-bye guys.